Hello future engineers and my dear students, welcome back to Mudasar Academy. Today's video is going to be very very important because today we will be solving all the problems relating to angle of intersection between two polar curves, which can be asked in the examination for 5 to 6 marks. But you can understand this lesson only when you refer to my previous videos. So if you haven't, please go back to the description, check the link and check the video and then come back. So without wasting time, let's do the maths. The first question is, find the angle of intersection between r is equal to sine theta plus cos theta and r is equal to 2 sine theta. So here also we apply the same technique as we did in the previous problems. Fine. So we apply log on both sides. So let's take the first equation. r is equal to sine theta plus cos theta. Right? Now, what I do, I apply log on both sides. Log of r is equal to log of sine theta plus cos of theta. What's the next step? We differentiate both. because There is no need because let's see, when I apply log, the whole bracket, understand one more time, instead of bracket is a single function, only log a into b is log a plus b. Okay, don't mess with the formulas. Now, log r is equal to log sine theta plus cos theta, now differentiate. So differentiation of log r is 1 by r into dr by d theta is equal to again 1 by differentiation of log of sine theta plus cos theta is log of x is 1 by x. So 1 by sine theta plus cos theta again chain rule differentiation of sine theta will be cos theta and cos theta will be minus sine theta. I will rewrite this as cot of phi is equal to cos theta minus sin theta upon cos theta plus sin theta. Please go back, refer the formulas which are given for polar curves. If you haven't, check the first video description, find the link for the PDF, download it and memorize the formulas. Without the formulas, you cannot move ahead with polar curves. So cot phi is equal to cos theta minus sin theta upon cos plus sin theta, that is I given already 1 minus tan theta upon 1 plus tan theta. That implies we get cot of phi 1. We will take this as curve, uh, the angle between radius and tangent vector for this curve as phi 1 is equal to cot of pi by 4 plus theta. That implies the first angle phi 1 is equal to pi by 4 plus theta. So I have found the first angle here. Similarly, apply for the second curve and find the second angle. If we subtract, we get the angle of intersection between the curves. So let's do it now. Now, log r is equal to, first r is equal to 2 sin theta. Log of r is equal to log of 2 into sin theta. Again, here you can apply the principles because log a into b is log a plus log b. Log r is equal to log 2 plus log of sine theta. Now we can differentiate. We get 1 by r dr by d theta. Log 2 is again log of any constant as I told you a, b, c, m, n, o, p, p, q, r, s, t. a, b is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 0. Plus again log of sine theta is 1 by sine theta. Again sine theta differentiation is cos theta. That is chain rule. If you haven't if you are pure in differentiation, I hope by now you, you are able to differentiate these things. So log of x is 1 by x, so 1 by sin theta, again sin theta is cos theta, very simple. Therefore, we get cot of phi, again a direct question, is equal to cot theta. So from here we can conclude the angle phi 2 is equal to theta. Okay, so I got angle phi 1 is equal to pi by 4 plus theta and phi 2 is equal to theta. So what did I tell you last class? To find the angle of intersection, the formula is simply find phi 1 phi 2 and angle of intersection is given by modulus of phi 1 minus phi 2. That is modulus of pi by 4 plus theta minus theta, theta theta cancels, that is pi by 4. So pi by 4 means 45 degrees. And that's it. So the angle of intersection between the side curve is 45 degrees and that's the answer. That's it. As simple as that. I hope you got this clearly. Now, moving on to the next question here. 
So what it says, find the angle of intersection between r square sine 2 theta is equal to 4 and r square is equal to 16 sine 2 theta. Again the same technique we need to apply here. First, we will take first this curve. So r square sine 2 theta is equal to 4, apply log on both sides, log of r square sine 2 theta is equal to log of 4. Now what? Principles of log. So log into B will be log of r square plus log of sine 2 theta is equal to log of 4. So I am doing each and every step as possible. Fine. For you to understand the things clearly. So again log a raised to k. What is the formula? Log a raised to k is k log a. Right? Because to differentiate or to apply the principles of differentiation, it should be plus or minus. No multiplication, no division, no powers, no raised to nothing is allowed. That's why we apply log and bring everything down on the plane surface. So log r square is 2 log r plus log of sine 2 theta is equal to log of 4 okay is equal to log of 4 now we can differentiate so 2 into 1 by r dr by d theta plus again sine 2 theta differentiation of sine 2 theta is cos 2 theta to again 2 theta is 2 so 2 cos of 2 theta is equal to 0 so now here this 2 and 2 cancels, that implies we get cot of phi is equal to, what is cos by sine? Cos by sine is cot, since it is 0 here, if I take this, that side cot of 2 theta it becomes minus cot of 2 theta. Therefore the first angle phi 1 is equal to minus 2 theta, this is my first angle. Similarly, I find the second angle from the second curve so we have again so first let's write the question here first take the curve here so the curve is r square is equal to 16 sine 2 theta for this curve we'll apply the log log of r square is equal to log of 16 sine 2 theta now the principles of log, again log r square is 2 log r, so 2 log r is equal to log of 16 plus log of sine of 2 theta, fine. So tell me what we do next, we differentiate this. So 2 as it is, differentiation of log r is 1 by r dr by d theta equals 0 plus 1 by sine of 2 theta, differentiation of sine to 2 theta is again cos of 2 theta into 2, so 2 to cancels, so directly we get this side, that means cot of phi is equal to cot of 2 theta, so I will take this angle as phi 2 is equal to simply 2 theta. Now I got both the angles here, so the general formula to find the angle of intersection is phi minus phi 2 modulus, so we have phi 1 minus phi 2, it implies is equal to minus 2 theta minus 2 theta, that is minus 4 theta. So the angle of intersection is how much? We get 4 theta. So this is my angle of intersection. But there is a room to find the value of angle theta, that is from the question. See, from the question you can easily find the value of theta by comparing them. Here we got answer 45, no issue. But here is only coming 4 theta. So don't leave it half, find the value of theta and put it here to get the exact angle. Fine? So we'll do that. So how shall we do it? So let's compare solution to this and solution to this. Okay. So let's compare the question. So we have, from the question we have r square sine 2 theta is equal to 4 and r square is equal to 16 sine 2 theta. So I will compare and write both in terms of r square so I can easily compare them. Okay, so we from here r square sine 2 theta is equal to 4 means we can write 
R square is equal to 4 by sine 2 theta. And here as it is, R square is equal to 16 sine of 2 theta. Now, I can compare both R square, R square both. So, if I compare both, both are same. So, I can write 4 by sine 2 theta is equal to 16 sine of 2 theta. And that implies, take it this side because I am doing all this thing to find the value of theta. So, sine 2 theta, sine theta is what? Sine square 2 theta is equal to 16 goes down. 4 by 16, that is 1 by 4. That means psi 2 theta will be root of 1 by 4, 1 by 2. So for what value of theta is the sine becomes 1 by 2? You can use a calculator and see sine inverse 1 by 2 will give you how much? 30 degrees because sine 30 is always 1 by 2. So that implies 2 theta is equal to 30 degrees or pi by 3. So, 30 means it is pi by 6, sir. That means, what is theta value? Theta will be pi by 12. So, this is the value of theta which I get here. Therefore, this value of theta put in this thing. So, the exact angle of intersection is, so angle of intersection will be nothing but 4 into pi by 12. So, what is... Uh, 4 1s are 4 3s are so pi by 3. So the angle of intersection is how much? 60 degrees. That's all. So the exact answer. Okay. I hope you understood these two problems clearly. If not, then keep on following the videos how many times you can go back, take your pen and paper, keep on practicing the same. You'll 100% get it. Okay then. So the next question is very, very important. It has been asked a number of times in the final examination. So watch carefully how I do it and practice it. The question is find the angle of intersection between r is equal to a log theta and r is equal to a by log theta. So let's solve it here. So as usual, first curve is r is equal to a log of theta. So what do we do? We always apply log on both the sides. So log of r is equal to log of a into log of theta. Be careful, there are two, two logs coming here. Now we apply log, it comes in the bracket log a into log theta. Now, this is a and this is b. So again, log a into b is log a plus log b. So log of r is equal to log of a plus log of log of theta. Okay, now we can differentiate. Log r is 1 by r into dr by d theta is equal to 0 plus 1c. Differentiation of log of x is how much? 1 by x. So, differentiation of log of log theta will be 1 by log theta. Again, into differentiation of log theta again is 1 by theta. So, we get 1 by theta log theta. Did you understand? So, see, differentiation of log x is 1 by x. Right. So, differentiation of in place of x, what is there? Log theta. So, differentiation of log of log theta is 1 by log theta. Again, chain rule into again differentiation of log theta is what? 1 by theta. So, we have the first angle as cot of phi is equal to or cot of phi 1 is equal to 1 by theta log of theta. Okay, let's leave it till here. We will go to the next curve. So, the next curve is r is equal to a by log of theta. Again, for this also, we will do the same. We will apply log on both sides. It is log of r is equal to log of a by log theta. Go back to the formulas, which says log of a by this log a minus log b. That is log of r is equal to log of a minus log of log of theta. Fine. Now we can differentiate. So we get 1 by r dr by d theta is equal to 0 minus again log of x 1 by x. So 1 by log theta. Again differentiation log theta is 1 by theta. That's all. So this gives me the second cot phi. So cot phi 2 is equal to 
minus 1 by theta log of theta. Now, I'm stuck here. So what to do next? Because I'm not getting directly the angles phi 1 and phi 2, so that I can find so thumb to, uh, thumb to some conclusion. So what, when I'm stuck, where to go? Go up. So where? Go to the question. Fine. So question is going to help you now. Why? Because from the question, we can find a value of theta. Let's compare it. So both R, R, right? So we have, we can write here from question. If you compare both R, R, both are same. There's no need to, you know, do some simplification. We directly have A log theta is equal to A by log of theta. See, R, R. So A log theta is equal to A by log theta. A cancels. So log of theta, the whole square is equal to 1, implies log of theta is equal to 1. So what is theta is equal to? I told you, always log E is 1. What is log E? 1. So log theta is equal to 1 means what is theta? Theta will be always E. So I found the value of theta here. Now simply put theta value in this quad phi 1, quad phi 2. It means I get, implies cot of phi 1 is equal to 1 by e log e. So what log e is 1 obviously we get cot phi is equal to phi 1 is 1 by e. And second one cot of phi 2 will be minus 1 by e log e. So minus 1 by e. I got two values here. One is cot phi 1 1 by e cot phi 2 minus 1 by e. But again we need to find a proper angle phi 1 minus phi 2. To do that, I will use this formula. Which formula? So first what I'll do, since cot phi 1 is equal to 1 by e and cot phi 2 is equal to minus 1 by e. So cot phi 1 is 1 by e means what is tan phi 1? Oh, tan 1 by tan is cot, 1 by cot is tan. That means cot phi 1 is equal to 1 by e. That implies tan phi 1 is equal to e, right? And tan of phi 2 is equal to minus e. So I have these two things now, tan phi 1 is e and tan phi 2 is equal to minus e, right? Therefore, I will to find exact angle phi 1 minus phi 2, I use this formula. That is, I'll use tan of phi 1 minus phi 2 is equal to the formula for tan a minus b. What is that? Tan of phi 1 minus tan of phi 2, tan a minus b is tan a minus b is tan a minus tan b upon 1 plus tan a into tan b. Recall the formulas which you learned in your previous class. So now, tan phi 1 minus phi 2 is tan phi, tan phi 1 minus tan phi 2 upon 1 plus tan of phi 1 into tan phi 2. So if I found already tan phi 1, tan phi 2, put it here. That will be e minus or minus plus e upon 1 minus e square. That is 2e upon 1 minus e square. That implies... Therefore, we can write the angle of intersection between the curves phi 1 minus phi 2 will be nothing but how much tell me tan phi 1 minus phi 2 is 2e upon 1 minus e square. Therefore, the angle of intersection phi 1 minus phi 2 will be nothing but tan inverse of 2e upon 1 minus e square. A very, very important solution. This is the angle. That's all. There's no need to solve it using calculator. You can leave it as it is. So the angle of intersection with these two curves, that is R is equal to A log theta and R is equal to A by log theta is phi minus phi 2 is equal to 10 inverse 2E by 1 minus E square. That's it. I hope you understood this solution. Fine. I hope you understood the problems we did in today's class. If any doubts, then please post in the comment below. In the next video, we'll be solving the more problems relating to the same topic that is angle of intersection between two curves because these problems are very important and they repeatedly ask in the examination. So don't miss the video. Till then, stay focused, study hard. And if you want such more videos like this, which can help you in the studies, then please do consider subscribing to my channel. Like it and share it with your friends. Till then, see you in the next class. Best of luck. Bye.